Hey guys, it's Dave, Man of the Horse Girl, and today we are doing an all day vlog day because there's a snow day, so let's go. Danny is off to her barn getting all the clothes on and stuff and things. Are you gonna brush your hair sometime today? Yeah, I'm gonna get back from the barn and probably do. <laughs> Jack got a haircut. Look at him. He's naked. He can't come to the barn. Sorry, buddy. Blair needs a haircut. I thought you were growing her hair out. I am, but I she I want to grow her hair out like long Yorkie style hair. But she won't But she looks so silly. Okay. Well, Chuck will look good in it. We're, I'm growing Chuck's hair out. Hair out like hair's, it his hair's out. It is his hair's. Yeah. All right. So wish me luck. Here I go. Good luck. All right. No, Jack, I'm sorry, you can't come. All right, so here's your first peek at the snow. Ew. It's negative three degrees out, too. Not that bad, but still. Ew. It looks pretty on the trees, anyway. All right, look out there. All right. Rich, before work, cleared this little path for me, so that was super swell of him. Oh, man, look at that. That's crazy. That's a big pile of snow. So this is Danny's goat fence. You guys know how tall that goat fence is? And the snow banks are all the way up to the top rung. We got some snow. Look at it all. All right, here we go. Danny's gonna have a real fun, real fun time shoveling out her door. <laughs> Look at that halfway up the door. Poor kid. Okay, here we go. I don't know why I live in the place where the air hurts my face. But alas, I do. There's our round bales that we feed the cattle. Can't really see them. <laughs> Alright, so now I have to shovel all of this. And we keep this shovel outside the door so that we can get in. So the fillies, completely happy with their hay chicks, hay nets. And what we do is we hook them to tires so that they don't get lost. Um, and then they have their nice little shelter there that they can get out of the wind, which is the most important thing. Especially if you're not gonna blanket, you wanna be sure to get your horses out of the wind, so. Look at her cute little nose, covered in snow. Here comes Miss Jewel. All right, off we go. I got lucky. My brother-in-law was here to help me um, shovel out the door. So feeling a little extra spoiled this morning. So that was good. Now I'm gonna have to go probably shovel out the back door, but I'm gonna get grain set up first. Oh my word. Look at this mess. So, this barn <laughs> is over a hundred years old. So there's obviously, you know, little cracks and things. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to get out the broom and clean this all up real quick. These cats, though, I should probably feed them first because otherwise they're going to be helping me. Which won't be entirely helpful. Alright, so I gotta set my coffee down. I hear ya, I hear ya. Alright. This is the magic trick for in the barn to thaw the water.
gonna set up grain for the fillies. I don't want them to run through here because they're gonna end up falling. So I'm gonna make them wait. Wait, guys. Come on, Ray. Um, so I change up where I feed them every day. So that's why Ryan's kinda like, ah, oh, where's my dinner? Because I think that it's good for them to be exposed to different things. And so, like, out there in that stall, it's a little bit noisier. Um, because the chickens are running around and I'm dropping stuff and I just think that exposure, <laughs> silly girls, to the noise is really good for them. And then, um, because, you know, they're, they're a little skittish right now, which is okay. It's just part of growing up. Um, I haven't really done a ton of work with them yet. I don't really want to. I want them to just kind of be horses, you know? They have their entire lives to be monkeyed with by people. I just think it's good for them to just be horses for a while. That habit, not a fan of, because when that happens, um, I think I'm going to get built-in feeders for them, and uh, so they can't do that, or bigger buckets, because this pine thing literally drives me insane. And I don't want to see that habit continue into their adulthood. Um, because there's no need for them to be pawing and impatient when, you know, they're tied and things like that. Anyway, there's our girls. And they're happy and healthy and growing like weeds. Ugh. Drive me nuts. Alright, so I just got in from the barn. and Let's go see what Danny's up to. It's very cold out still. So Danny's room is down here in the basement. Hello. Hey, Danny, give us a new room tour. Okay, so this is my futon couch. This was my old bed in my old room. And I just brought it down here for a little couch. And for if anybody spends the night at my house, they can sleep on this. Yep. And then my rug, me and Gwen were just playing. Some card games on it, and then my side table. It's a mess right now, but it is a mess. <laughs> yeah, and then my bed, which my blankets are over there and stuff. And then I have my ribbons, some of my ribbons. Okay. And then some um pictures, pictures. Yeah. And then I have a hat, some hats there. And then Nelly. And then my closet. So this is just where I'm keeping my pictures right now. My shirt obsession. And I have there's jeans, sweatpants, nice shirts, sweater, sweatshirts, and then summer clothes. Oh. And then go further into the closet. Here are my Western shirts, hunt jackets, English shirts, basically your Western show clothes. shirts, and yeah, my show clothes and clothes back to the And then I have my clarinet and my backpack for school back here, my laundry baskets, and then my shoe rack. All right, you and Gwen need to get ready to go to lunch. Kay. You need to brush that hair. Yeah, <laughs> sister. So we did dishes, we cleaned up the living room a little bit, swept the floor, Gwen helped, and so now we are going to go to the shop and get some lunch. Um, for those of you, which probably none of them know, that we own an automotive shop, um, Rich, Danny's dad, primarily works there, well, primarily he does work there. Um, so we, yeah, we'll go give you guys a tour of the shop and get some lunch and yeah. And yeah, and yeah. We need to get a t-shirt that says that. And yeah. <laughs> Bye. I need to get one that says okay, so. I say it. So. Yeah. Okay. You so. say. Okay. So. And you say. And yeah. And yeah. And yeah. All right. Let's go.
riding a lot. I have been doing much more than that. Um, just about every night, um, me and Gwen do chores. I feed the horses and the cows and the minis and the goats and the ducks and the chickens. <laughs> um, not that hard. And also, we work with our cows. So Jeffrey comes over pretty much every day or so, every other day. And he works with Whiskey and I work with Nora and Gwen works with Fauna Rose. And also, I started volleyball in the middle school volleyball tournaments. And so I've been doing that every Monday, Thursday, Friday. And yeah. You're, you're, she is pulling into the shop again <laughs> so she can get the shot she wanted. I unbuckled already, so I'm not looking back up. This is food from our favorite restaurant. Burgers the size of your head. <laughs> so, Dad, show me the shop. What? Show me the shop. Okay, let's go. So, this is the shop. This is the storage area with the pops and drinks and all that stuff. stand right there. And then there's okay. and then the area that they work in. There are three lifts and this is a area that they work at. It's <laughs> a toolbox. And then this is the office with the coffee area and then the chairs and the restroom and then where the plates. Okay, so this is our road. Snowbanks are pretty big. For those of you who don't know, pretty much our whole family on my side lives on this road. Here's our house and Danny's little barn and our house. And horse trailer. Horse trailer. There's one of the pastures and then the camper and over here is the big tractor garage and then we have the old garage and then um, this old house which we use for storage and like wood shop type of thing the horse trailer and then the barns are right there and then over here is my parents house and then up over there is Gwen's house and my sister's house so we're all very fortunate to be able to live very close to each other and you know get along and stuff so Danny is gonna run laundry soap into my mother because she had ankle surgery so she couldn't go to start there goes Danny. Here she goes. Run, run, run. She's very in the way. I need to tell you guys a story. So, one time me and Jeffrey were walking the stairs back here and I needed to throw something away. So, I walked Noro into their gra, into their mudroom. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you did that. Yeah. Nice. Aww. I forgot my show stick in there, too. So. <laughs> Alright, so we are going to head her. Back to our house, and here we go. And Gwen's hanging out, hanging out with us today. Oh, are you coming home with us? Mm -hmm. I should probably ask before I just assumed. Hi, Joe Blacken. Nice job. All right. Well, what are you girls okay. gonna do? We are probably gonna go back downstairs and play some more card games, and I might go play my clarinet a little bit. Let's go grab the house. Okay, so we're gonna head right over to the barns. We're gonna go to the 
little barn first and bring the steers in for grain. Okay, so we are going to go and feed these steers. I'll set you guys up so we can bring the cows in. Hey, come on. Actually, I don't want to get Penny first. Penelope! Penny! Come on. Penny, get moving. Come on, Arby's. Here, let me see it, buddy. Come on, Farmer Rose. Straight down, fun. So this is Fauna. This is the cow that gave we that Penny gave birth to this spring. She's big. Now. She is bigger than the steers. Much bigger than them. Okay, so now we are going <laughs> to get the baby, the mini's grain. And give them their grain. Your mom said we have to the horses. Does that mean the minis or the big horses? Come on, Jet! Lee, Jet! Jet, Ruby! Not Jet. Jet, you get out. Daisy, Ruby, come on! Jet, get out. Jet, out. Come on, Ruby! Come on, Ruby! Come on, Jet! Daisy! Daisy, come on! Okay, so since. Jet, Jet is getting grain and everybody else except for Lacey is getting grain. I'm going to be bringing Lacey in here for now, I guess. And yeah. Scooping poop is lots of fun when it's frozen, isn't it, Danny? <laughs> okay, so we are frozen solid. So we're hurrying through chores. So we didn't get the minis coming in. And Gwen just let her mini out. <laughs> Jet. Jet. So look, you get to watch Gwen chase Jet. <laughs> there she goes. Get in there. So we got everybody's water set up, their grain set up, their hay. They're all happy, happy horses now. Danny's frozen. No fingers. Poor child. All right, now we gotta throw out hay for the big horses, though. So let's go. Oh, in, hay mow. I go. Our uh, hay mow door has these super high tech latches. They're boards. And you get to see the horses. They're up here. <laughs> really want their hay. Hey guys. So I got the heads run down. Now we gotta go spread it out. Gosh, that wind's cold. in front of me. Nice. I mean, just completely whited out. And I had to hang on to right here. I was like, ah! Gwen <laughs> was getting blown away. Oh, dear. Yeah. All right. Let's go take care of that baby. Get the heck out of here. Hey, Gwen. Hey, Gwen. Hey, Gwen. 
how you use this gate. Yeah. It's easier because then I can bring them their water. Yeah. Ah. My little stinkers always spill their grain too. They do. I'll get the lights. Frozen children. So Danny, how you feeling? I'm frozen. Solid. Frozen solid. Yeah. <laughs> I can't feel my toes at all. They're gonna dump Danny off and we're going to oh 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 lift. Right, it's wrong button. Oh, this is gonna be dangerous. We're gonna dump Danny off at her barn. Bring Gwen to the house to um, and grab her stuff. I can get my goat some water, water today. So guys, that was my video for this week. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Check out my Instagram at underscore teamwear. And don't forget to check out Danny the Horse Girl Instagram. Today we just did a quick little vlog type day. So we'll see you guys next week. Bye! Mm -hmm.